Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sachinov, sir. I want you to watch closely. At facility thirty-eight twenty-six. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. 
Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? Little Bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. So, what will it be, Major? Granted. Charles, who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss is finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Okay, let's open the gate.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Ah, we found the station. And the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. The robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the ground plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? There are no tickets! The window is closed! I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! Sorry, comrade. No one can help you now. <gasps> Kai! Rescue. Failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Grab empty. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. 
Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run! You can make it! Leave the area! I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. Sorry, comrade, but there's no need for you to hide anymore. Are you trying to say they killed me? I knew it! Really? How? It's been several nights, but I'm still huddling in the same spot, and I can't remember what happened before the alarm went off. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Graphics kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous.
Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. Are, are, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of it? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Oh, crispy critters! Hold on! Are you fucking serious? Ugh. Dog? No time for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Seishinov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Seishinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, fair enough. Uh, oh, Anything yeah. else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This'll come uh, in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> uh, slippery little bitch! <laughs> oh, <fuck. Easy. laughs> Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design.
Come on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or a... Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. This room contains the hot terminal, but the security system locked the door when the emergency protocol was activated, preventing unauthorized access. You've attracted too much attention, Major. Things are about to get ugly. Hey, Charles. How come shock can go through polymer but not through regular water? Is all the water here... distilled or something? Your knowledge of physics is rather impressive, Comrade Major. You could be right, but... No, the water here is quite ordinary. Shock generates isolated electricity that only functions within a cloud of dispersed polymer. Okay, so it only works with less dense substances, like other polymers. Or other electrical fields. The same goes for the glove's other abilities. Frostbite, for example. So, it's like oil and water. May Tesla bless you, Major.
It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the Hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. for me, would ya?
For real, that thing, a civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean, shit, I do, but I can't remember a damn thing. They seem different somehow. Authorization, Major Ne- Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will, you'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is, I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Right is all set. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP hey, on them. Yeah. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill.
Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. Lousy piece of shit! What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster? Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Whatever, huh? I'm moving on. Hmm. <laughs> 
Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. 
All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. Too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. Hm. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. <laughs> No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro-connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface, along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. the VDNH yet, Comrade Major. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, <laughs> menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? Huh. Yeah. 
That must feel pretty shitty. It's not about how it feels. It's about how I feel. And I'm pissed off. I'm full of rage. And I don't like it. I'm an even-tempered man. A peaceful man. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. And, well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. There's nothing I can do for you. I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be opened with my multi key. Error. Multi key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Well, Charles, what do the special neural connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond-encrusted <laughs> shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, Comrade Major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? 
I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive! Authorization. Major. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. 